Welcome back here with another COSPA video, okay? I got a few things I want to go over today with you guys, all right? And the first off is the uh, the Fibonacci, okay? I want to show you guys something here that uh, that plays out here that is pretty interesting, okay? First, we're going to go to Cardano, all right? I'm going to go out in the monthly chart. All right, the last time it had a bull run was back in the t time before last but before 2021 this was 2017 okay we put a Fibonacci on this thing alright and we got a full uh, 2.618 uh, extension up here just fell just a hair short of it okay you can see back here the 2017 bull run we put that on top and we got uh, just about a full 2.618 extension alright the next one is Bitcoin and I'm showing you this to get uh, uh, to, to uh, well, kind of prove a point here with something. But this is the Bitcoin market cap. All right, back in 2017, put the Fibonacci extension on it. All right, we came right up uh, almost a full 4.236 extension on this thing. Okay, you can see it came right up to the top there. All right, that was the Bitcoin market cap. All right, um, wanted to. Uh, We'll move on down through here. We got Ethereum next. I want, I'm showing you guys this. You'll you'll see what I'm getting to here in the end. Okay, ETH came right up to the 3.618, almost almost a full extension here. Okay, so what this Fibonacci does, it gives you an idea. You know, price targets uh, for the next bull runs. Okay. Um, there's cost, but we're going to come back to that. All right, but we're going to go down through here. I believe I get, yeah, got the total one and the total two market cap. Here's the crypto total market cap. Okay, this is with Bitcoin. You can see how it went, peaked out right up here, almost a full extension here from 2017. All right, 2017, it was down at a $700 billion uh, top right here that we, we had about. Uh, just about three, yeah, three trillion dollars. This this run around, okay. So you can see how the Fibonacci tool can give you price targets, especially for bull runs, okay. And here is the uh, total market cap excluding Bitcoin. It actually peaked up over the top there. All right. So what I'm getting at here, all right. Now if we take this and put this on top of Bitcoin and see what kind of price targets. This could possibly give us for the next bull run, okay? Bitcoin itself, it fell just a hair short up here, okay? Sixty-nine thousand bucks. This thing had a target right up around uh, seventy-five, seventy-five thousand dollars, okay? So now, if we take this Fibonacci, and put it on top of Bitcoin this time, see what kind of uh, target this thing could possibly give us for the next bull run. All right, you see how accurate the thing is. All right, now, I don't have a lot of coins to go back on price history, but a full 4.236 would take Bitcoin up to 291,000 bucks. All right, so we can say pretty safely anywhere from 250 uh, to 290, you know, right around there. All right, because um, this thing is super accurate. All right, that would take us from uh, sixty-seven thousand, you know, up to roughly two fifty. That's a four X. All right, that sounds absolutely realistic. All right, Ethereum, and then we're going to get to Cospa here. I'm just uh, trying to give you guys some ideas how high these prices could go next time. This is all going to tie back in together here. Okay, if we take ETH, put this on the top. Pull this down to the bottom. All right, this could give Ethereum a price target. You know, that's crazy, ain't it? The whole way up to $21,000. You know, and, and safely, you, you know, you could, even if you took this, even in this zone, 16000 bucks. you know, that's an 8X. And you see, you see how accurate this thing is. I mean, if I take it back over here, put it back on Ethereum on the top to the bottom that went right to the that was, you don't use the blow off top there okay 
Let me get this exactly on there. It has to come up a little bit yet on the bottom. There we go. There you go. It's 3.618. You know, so even if ETH does make it to the 3.618 next time, you know, this will give you an idea the next time what this bull run could have in store for us, you know. 3.618 would give uh, Ethereum a price of, what, $18,000. So, you might think it's crazy, but I'm telling you, wait, just wait till next time. You know, I when I first learned about this fib, uh, before the last bull run, and a guy I watched at the time kept saying 72,000, kept showing us Fibonacci and how it all ties in and how it all works and stuff. And uh, that was roughly uh, tw uh, late 2019. And he was saying, you know, 72 to $74,000 Bitcoin. I thought, oh my God, no way. That no way. And it happened, you know. So yeah, this thing is super accurate, right? What I'm getting at here, we get back to Cosma here. Okay, all right. And we want to go on a weekly because we don't have enough price action. Okay, let's erase this for a second. All right, now this first little run we had here. All right, when this first thing first launched, if we take, whoops, whoops, sorry about that. Want to go the other way from the top to the bottom. Top to the bottom. You can see how it peaked out on this first run that actually overextended it you know you had all this volume coming in that's what can happen with the blow off top here all right so if this run here if cospa if we do the same thing put a fibonacci on here and this completes this run here like it did the first one first one you know we could be looking at price targets up here of uh, roughly 18 cents you know even if it does a 3618 15 cents you know at the end of uh, this run that we're running now you know um, I believe this is all gonna tie into one big you know one two three four five one big massive five waves up here so um, we'll, just, we'll play it as it goes here obviously all right um, but that's the target that we're uh, would be shooting for next on this thing. And then if we make it to 18 cents before the next bull run, and we put a fib on top of that, you know, then we're heading towards that dollar range, all right. And this is all tying in because back in, uh, you know, I was looking through uh, Coin Market Cap and Crypto.com. It's now Cronus, all right. Um, 25 billion coins right now it's at roughly it's at six cents okay but if you go back in history here this thing had an all-time low of, of a penny all right had an all-time high of 96 98 97 cents all right it has a uh, circulating supply up here of 25 billion coins all right, total supply 30, so 83% uh, of their coin supply is out there. Now, if we go back to a historical snapshot, this is November uh, 28th of 2021 during the bull run. All right, we have to go down here and we find uh, yeah, it's up here further than that. Where's it at here? You guys, probably, there it is, crypto.com, crow, okay, market cap, 19 billion, circulating supply, 25 billion coins, all right, right here it was at 75 cents, but that week, um, it had its all-time high on, what was the exact date here, the all-time high was on November 24th of uh, 97 cents, okay, and this was on November 21st. All right, so that'll give you an idea. 25 billion coins, all right? And we have COSPA. Uh, COSPA has, what do we have here? I'm getting to a point that all them people out there that say, uh, you know, that dollar's a dream or whatever. Let me tell you something. It's absolutely not. <laughs> There's no uh, question about it. 25 billion circulating supply for them. And... Cospa has, let's see here, 
Cost by has 19 billion. Okay, so a dollar is absolutely achievable. No question about it. All right, I wanted to show you guys that. We're going to get back to that chart in a second. Here's the uh, uh, the merchandise I was showing you guys about, the link in the description. They actually have over 100 different cost by items, but you can see uh, you know, hats are 24 bucks, t shirts 27 if you want to go check it out, uh, sold $240 worth of stuff yesterday. So thank you very much out there, whoever uh, whoever bought. I appreciate it very, very much. You know, actually, uh, I'll be totally honest with you. I get 3% as a commission. So, you know, whatever. That's, uh, you know, $7.50, $7.50 or something. You know, very much appreciated. Every bit helps. You know, they sell uh, cell phone covers. They sell mouse pads. All kinds of stuff. Go check it out. Coffee cups. Um, you got some nice stuff. Nice hoodies. Shorts. Every Everything you can imagine. Pretty cool store. The link's in the description of the video if you want to go check it out. So I appreciate the, uh, the $240 order out there, guys. Thank you very, very much. Every bit helps out. So let's move on here to the crypto bubbles. Uh, look at X XLM is flying today. 25%. Oh, holy cow. That thing has just been ripping. There goes XRP again. Uh, Cospo six and a half. Um, yeah, getting the green, uh, getting some green out there. Cardano is finally moving. Uh, it's good to see. So let's go back to these charts. And let's dig in here and see what's going on. Okay, this is on the weekly. Let's uh, put the RSIs up here. Obviously, we still have our weekly RSI heading up. That looks fantastic. Got our daily peeking out here at the top a little bit, all right? So let's see what's going on here. Let's look at possible pullback areas. Let me see. I might need my other. Let's go over to my other charts here. Might need this one here. Yeah. If I could ask you to please hit the like and subscribe, guys, that'd be great. If you want to become a member of the channel, there's a link in the description of the video. So that's uh, $2.99 a month. But we have a trend line working up here on this thing, okay? Um, the daily's getting a little bit tapped out here. The 12 hour, uh, right at the top. It's still bullish, a 77 and 75. All right, we got the eight. Uh, the eight looks like it's wanting to turn down, but it has a green candle here. You can see it's starting to push up here on the bottom. Still bullish though. And the four uh, is just just flipped a little bearish here but it still has a green candle right so this might have one more push up here before we have a a pullback here where could that pullback come to let's see here we're going to take it from uh, this wave here and get a look actually let's just pull down here all right we have uh, two different areas actually this thing we could pull right back down here to 0 0.02833 all right which would be, that would be a that be a hard pullback but that would make sense we would stay above this here uh, 0 0.02833 or if we take it from right up at this other level here right there you know that don't make sense up there kind of but it don't 0 0.0297 I would bet on uh, you know this pullback down here to the uh, point zero two eight that would make more sense to me okay that would cool off the daily and everything and then we would get our uh, final fifth push up here and uh, you know we have a target for that up here up at uh, point zero four three so we'll see if we blast through it or we get rejected the first time off it have to come down and consolidate and give it another blast up but looks like right now uh, but it's still trying to push up. We still got a green candle on this thing. So on all the time frames, the 12 is green, the 8 is green, 4 is green, the 1, the, the one, the one's still heading up. So this thing's trying to get one more push up here. And uh, then I would definitely expect a pullback, guys. Nothing major, just, uh, just your normal stuff out there. That daily, of course, that daily, you know, this thing could do a minor pullback. Uh, that 618 is a very, very common area. We're going to turn that blue. Give that a double line because that's more than likely 
that's very good support over here support here very good support through here that'd be the most likely area for this thing to pull back to okay and that would be right above uh, right above this too it wouldn't violate any any kind of wave pattern or anything in here all right so we take our let's just get that measurement here whoops a little bit high there we go yeah yeah it's giving us that target up there one two three four if we pull back here we stay above wave one and that fifth wave up so cospa is looking absolutely fine right now i'd expect maybe a little bit of a pullback uh the, the dixie's starting to bounce a little bit here you can see right here we talked about that yesterday that dxy that daily so expect a little bit of a bounce out of that bitcoin is still hovering right around thirty thousand bucks just still just hanging out there you know had that trend line that got broke now it's fighting it right now as a resistance area you can see all these trend lines you know and that support line up here too but uh you can see how these work man it broke trend now it's got to fight to get back up in there so if it can break that 30,183 and flip that back into support that would definitely help but we got the daily on the bottom the 12 hour on the bottom this thing is just set up the eights coming up uh, the fours at the top so see how it's fighting that line right there it's fighting right in there so needs to flip that 30,190 back into support again you can see I have an alarm set right there all right guys thank you very very much I hope you enjoyed the video today I hope you see how the Fibonacci extensions can work and uh, they could give us a price target of 18 cents out of this uh, big five wave run here and then uh next year's bull run you know if we finish that 18 cents by then and put a fib on top of that i could you know i could absolutely see this thing heading towards the dollar that the high high 80s 90s you know for a, i would absolutely think so for sure especially if we get a big listing out there the finance or coinbase jumps on this thing you're gonna see massive inflow and uh it, it'll it'll just get crazy so um, like I always say, congratulations, guys. You're in early. That's uh, you're in on a great. We're in on a great project, and uh, you should pat yourself on the back for that. All right, thanks a lot. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day, everybody.